Hello and uh, welcome to Cheshire Audio. Now this is just a quick news video. There's not loads of things going on, but I thought there's enough to enough going on to make a video. Um, the main thing is, I suppose, the Riga have actually announced the new version of the Saturn. Now it's been talked about for a while. Uh, the Saturn CD player, that is. Um, kind of a styling exercise. I think they're, they're trying to move the whole range to the same look as the Athos amplifier. Uh, so it's quite chunky and solid looking. So, you know, it's got that same frontage and the same little silver surrounds on the buttons and everything. So it's, it looks really good, to be fair. I've seen pictures of it and I'll, I'll post a picture. I'll just post it up here in a sec. If I sort of move to the side, I can post a picture of it. Um, contradictory information as to whether they've improved it. The actual mail shop from Riga said no, that it was just a styling exercise. Um, the chap from Riga who calls on us, who um, said, to be honest, there have been a few tweaks to things. So I don't think it's anything major. I think they've, um, I think the, the transport's been been sort of fiddled with a little bit. But overall, it is just to, to bring it into line with the rest of the range. So that's that's the main one. Um, this isn't exactly new news, but the the system one is. is at long last is available and it's coming through quite quickly as well so there's no there's no there doesn't seem to be any waiting list for it now um, but that's been two years coming um, so system one is a p1 an io, IO amplifier and the, little, the new kite speakers saying new kites they've been out for two years um, of which i will be doing a i'll be doing a a, a review of the kites because uh, i've re realized i haven't done one yet so i'm going to do a review of the kites and i'll probably do a, a, a re review of system one as well because there's a lot of people in it's very it's created a lot of interest and I didn't think it would for some reason I don't know why I think I didn't think that um, a one you know one one box solution system would have been a thing but it just yeah seems to have captured people imagination wise so yeah so I'll, I'll do a review on that soon but that's that might be a week or two before that before I get to do that uh, camera's gone off I'm back on um, other than that um, I'm trying to think what's going on in the shop at the moment. We've um, we're having a bit of a sale. I don't really don't really have sales as such. Sorry, I just haven't pulled up. Um, having a bit of a sale, but not obviously not not in the sort of way the high street has a sale because we don't work in the same way. But uh, I've got a few like ex demonstration bits I'm selling. So if you want to, anything, you might be interested. Give me a ring at the shop. Um, I've got things like I'm trying to go around what's here at the moment. Um, those. Selling off those because there's a new version, selling off those at the new version, so that's the Monitor Audio 200, Monitor Audio Silvers, obviously, Silver 300 um, selling. Um, what else is there in here? What's, what's I looked the other day and thought, oh, but loads of things I need to sell off. Um, Riga RX3s, I will be selling other. If, you, if you're interested in a pair of RX3s, or actually we've got a pair of RX5s in Cherry as well, um, will be selling those at some point. Riga have still got, Riga have stopped making them, but they, they, they do still have stock. So I'm keeping hold for a bit. The, the fives are out on loan with a customer at the moment. So uh, I'm going to picture those, but yeah, that, so they'll be available. Um, give it a couple of months, perhaps, probably sell those off. Uh, and also I've got a pair of fine audios. Yeah, the fine audios, they're uh, F302s and there's a 302i now. So I'm just going to, if anybody's interested in a pair of 302s, 302s, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll move those on. Um, what else? On else? Yeah, I think that's kind of it, really. In the workshop, so looking at the workshop, not a lot going on at the moment. Actually, I had a massive rush of, of um, things happening uh, after I reopened. Probably the busiest day I've ever had was the first day back after Christmas. Probably 30, 30 35 phone calls. Uh, yeah, that's sort of unprecedented, really. Uh, at the moment, all we've got in is the sun deck. You're just having a bit of a, a refurb with the, and a, we're sorting out a new solution for the power supply because the, the Lingo power supply has completely blown itself to bits. Um, so that needs to, that's scrap pretty much now. Um, or it could be recapped or whatever it needs to do, but it's, it's, I think there's so much wrong with it. It, it actually billows smoke out, so it's, it's not happy. Um, oh, I've got some um, traded in some. Uh, Russ Andrews power cables. Anyone? I've got, I've got a couple. I've got a Russ Andrews hundred and Russ Andrews three hundred power cable. Anybody's interested in that? I've actually, to be honest, I have got a lot of trading stuff. Um, just turn that around. I've I've been, it's all right. I've traded in a lot of things uh, since the, in the new year. So I've got um, an Exposure XM. Um, I can't remember what it's called now. I can't remember. What, it's XM five, isn't it? Little little integrated. Amplifier that's got a built-in DAC and everything. I've got, a, I've got um, a trade in one of those. I did have a trade in 3010 
exposure amp as well, but that's just just gone. Uh, I've got various Rigas. I've got um, some very early ones that uh, I'll probably sell with new arms on because uh, they've got R200s on. I don't like selling them with the R200 on. Uh, I've got an RP1. I've got, I've got, I can't remember. I'm terrible. I, I try trade things in and they sit in the stock room and I just forget they're there. And then, you know, two years down the line, I'll suddenly remember and I've got, oh, I've got, yeah, in the stock room, I've got one of these. Anyway, uh, oh, the other thing I've just I've traded in as well, I've actually got a, where is it, where is it, where is it? Um, Quadferno stage, which is absolutely immaculate. Um, those are about £1,100 now, and that would be about, I don't know, about 650 or so. Um, that's traded in against a Riga Ari, or I, can't, I can't remember what it's traded in against. I think you bought, I think you bought a Riga Ari. Um, so yeah, there's that. I think, I think that's about it for trade-ins, actually. I'll, I'll, I'll remember things. After I've finished, I'll probably remember, remember a lot of other things. Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of it, really. It's just a quick, like I say, just a quick video. Um, it's interesting with CD, actually. Um, I thought CD had died to death. I actually had a, I think it was 2018. I didn't sell a single CD player in the shop. Um, I thought that's strange, because obviously the, the, the streaming things kicked off and people were all switching to streaming. Since then, though, it's, I mean, it's just interesting, it's sort of interesting that, that Riga have produced a new version of the Saturn. Um, sales for CD are climbing quite rapidly, and I think, Trying to think how many, but well, funnily enough, um, read a reply. Somebody, somebody's ordered that's either th three or four Apollos I've sold since since the new year, so that's in a very, very short time, really. I've also sold uh, an XMCD exposure. Um, can't think now whether I've sold anything else, but yeah, because so, I CD, CD nothing in 2018, perhaps a couple in 2019. 2020, probably five or six. No more, no, it'll be more than that. Yeah, probably quite a few more, probably 10, actually probably more like 10 or 15, thinking about it, because I did quite well, I've sold quite a lot of rocks and blacks, and so higher end things. So the CD, CD's not gone, it's, it, is, it is kind of coming back really. And I know people will, will say, well, why would you bother when to the street? Because a lot of people don't like streaming, they don't like it, um, including me, which might be, might be the subject of a video, but um, I know people are really into it, and I th I, I, it's fair enough if you're really into it, and I can I can understand it. But I think um, CD's still got a lot to offer, and I actually think that in most cases CD does, does still sound better, um, in spite of high res that you can get with streaming. I think high re high res seems to do weird things to to streaming. It sort of almost 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 makes it less likable. But um, like I say, that's subject for another video, I think. But uh, on that note. On that note, because that'll, that'll get the keyboard warriors having a go at me. Um, on that note, I'll um, thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and give us a like, and I will see you in a future video. Thank you very much.